Hi, um, I'm here today and um, I want to review uh, Pirate Exo Reserve. Now, Pirate Exo Reserve, it's um, made in Anguilla, which is uh, in the British West Indies, and there in the Caribbean. And um, it's made of a blend of rums up to 15 years old and uh, it's made by Patron, the same company that uh, produced high quality tequilas. So they're very well known, know what, they're, know what they're doing, know their stuff. So first of all, I want to just have a little chat about the design of the bottle, you know, because, uh, you know, let's be honest, when you're buying a rum, uh, initial look, you go into a, into a shop and you see your shelf full of all the different rums, and the bowl and the packaging does have a lot of effect on when still guiding you towards it. And if you're lucky enough to be able to taste it, then you make the decision then. But initially, this bottle, I would say, is a really nicely designed bottle. It's designed on bottles that were found in, in uh, pirate and ship's captain's hoards and, uh, back in the 1800s. And basically, it's... Uh, it's made to imitate blown glass really is a thick heavy bottle and feels really feels like blown glass but obviously it's not it is imitation of blown glass um it's got some nice little touches on it you know you've um, on each bottle you have a handwritten serial number which is a nice little exclusive touch which you know a bit of exclusiveness don't go amiss does it and also you have a little brass amulet of Hoti, the Buddhist god of contentment and enlightenment. Now, he's also the uh, patron saint of bartenders. So, yeah, nice little design, little yellow ribbon, nice little design all in all, well packaged. Yeah, so now I'm going to pour a little glass and we'll have a little go at the, giving you some idea what it tastes like. Right. First of all, the first thing I will say about this, as soon as you pour it, as soon as you pour this rum, a citrus smell goes around the room. I, I can smell oranges now as, as I speak, and that's before I even put my nose near to the glass. It's a very beautiful, um, lovely odour to, to, this, to this rum. It's beautiful. So straight away, yeah, you can smell citrus, orange, apricot. Well, it's gorgeous. Yeah, really nice. Um, vanilla for sure. There's a caramelly, brown, sugary flavour to it as well. So it's a fantastic rum. Really is nice. But that is, I would say straight away, drinking this rum, part of the enjoyment is the fact of the the, the beautiful aroma that it gives off. It really is lovely. So you, you're looking to buy this bottle in the UK. You're looking at about um, thirty-seven pounds a bottle. Well, thirty-seven pound a bottle. Would I? Is it worth it? Yes, it definitely is. In my opinion, um, if you're thinking of buying a bottle, I'd say go for it. Certainly worth a punt. Um, there's bottles out there which you're looking at twice the price, and it doesn't kind of patch to this rum. Really doesn't. So yeah, um, definitely worth the money. Um, there's other ones in the range um, certainly worth a go as well but I would say definitely go for it okay so until the next time cheers